Hi there, hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you some simple yet super effective asanas that help control the unpleasant symptoms that one goes through during menopause. Menopause is usually associated with hormonal, physical and psychological changes and these changes occur gradually or abruptly. And these changes result in symptoms such as irregular menstruation, vaginal dryness, change in sexual desire, hot flashes, change in appearance, mood swings, urinary problems, sleep disturbance, palpitations and even backaches. Yoga can help in a big way to control these unpleasant symptoms. Certain asanas when done regularly and properly help relax the nervous system, thereby improving the function of the endocrine system, which includes the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland in the brain, and also the thyroid and parathyroid gland. And this helps the body to adapt to hormonal fluctuations in a balanced manner. Stand straight with your feet parallel to each other, your chin parallel to the ground, your spine straight. As you inhale, lift your arms upwards and as you exhale, pushing the buttocks out, exhale as you bend forward. Now it doesn't matter if you can't reach the ground, if this is where you reach, that's perfectly fine. Just go as much as you can. Remember to keep your feet firmly rooted to the ground and roll from your hips. Keep breathing through the pose, hold for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once you're done, bend your knees, inhale and come back. Always remember to bend your knees before coming back to avoid any pressure on the knees. Let's go into other Mushwanasana. So your hands and thighs parallel to each other. As you exhale, gently lift your knees off the ground. And try to bring your head closer to the ground, your heels closer to the ground as much as you can. Try to keep pushing the tailbone upwards. Hold it there. Make sure the knees and elbows are as straight as possible. This is amazing to help improve blood circulation, especially to the brain, where your hypothalamus and pituitary gland is located. Also great for the thyroid gland. Next we go to the Balasana, which is also called the child's pose, which again is very relaxing for the body and the mind. Start with sitting in Vajrasana and then gently spread your knees out. And as you exhale, bend forward and come down. You can also place a cushion or a pillow under your head for better support and comfort. You can relax the pose for about 3 to 5 minutes or even more. Try to surrender the pose as much as possible. Remember, it is really important for your nervous system to be relaxed and calm in order for healing to take place inside your body. Now those of you who find it difficult to sit like this, you can also sit in cross leg and do the same asana. And now we're going to do question with an asana, which is great for balancing your hormones. It is also amazing for your reproductive system, especially the ovaries. So sit with your spine straight, your chin parallel to the ground. Stretch your arms, stretch your spine upwards. As you exhale, rolling from your hips, bend forward and go down. Now it doesn't matter if you're unable to reach the toes, or unable to bring your head towards the knees. Just go as much as you can. If this is where you can reach, no problem. Just go as much as you can. But make sure pressing the abdomen towards the thighs as much as possible. Your toes should be towards you. In case you're not being flexible, you can always use a yoga belt or a hand towel or a scarf for better support by doing this asana. So just loop the belt around your feet and as you exhale, bend forward as much as you can. Keep pushing your abdomen towards the thighs as much as possible. Remember to keep breathing in the pose. Try to keep your knees as straight as possible. Hold it there. This is also excellent for calming the brain and also improves the quality of your sleep. Join the back of your feet together and sit with your spine straight, your chin parallel to the ground. And then slowly interlock your fingers around your toes. And as you exhale, bend forward as much as you can. Now try to keep pushing the knees downwards towards the ground as you open up the pelvic region. Again, it doesn't matter if you can't bring your head to the ground, just go as much as you can. But keep pushing your abdomen and your knees downwards towards the ground. Now in the same pose, that is Padrasana, I want you to gently lie down on your back, open up your arms towards the ceiling and just relax. This is a very relaxing pose and greatly helps control hormonal fluctuations. You can stay in this pose for about 3 to 5 minutes or even more. Let's go to Seto Gandhasana. So lie down on your back, your feet parallel to each other. Gently as you inhale, raise your hips upwards. Raise your chest as high up as possible. Feel the compression in your throat. That is where your thyroid gland is located. If possible, you can also interlock your fingers together and roll your shoulder blades in so that you can lift even higher. Lie down on your stomach and place your elbows on the ground, your elbows parallel to each other and your hands stretched in front of you. Remember to keep the elbows in line with the shoulders. 
and then stay there, relax. This again is very relaxing. You can be in this pose for about 3 to 5 minutes or even more. This pose is also amazing for combating back pain. Next we're going to do Halasana. So lie down on your back. Gently raise your legs upwards and roll them backwards. And just try and place them on the ground. Try to keep the knees as straight as possible. Keep breathing in the pose. Feel the progression in your thyroid gland, which is located in your throat. Amazing for balancing the problems and relaxing the nervous system as well. Doesn't matter if your feet don't reach the ground. If this is where you reach, that's completely fine. Just go as much as you can. Once you're done, inhale and slowly come back. Now in case you're not very flexible, you can always use the support of the chair while doing this asana. You will still derive all the benefits required to improve the health of your endocrine system and balance your hormones. So again, lie down on your back, raise your legs upwards and then gently roll backwards, placing your legs on top of the chair and just relax them. Again, feel the compression in your foot. Now that you have the support of the chair, you can even stay longer in the pose without getting too tired. Once you're done, gripping the ground with your hands for support, slowly inhale and breathe. Do each of these two to three times on an empty stomach and try and hold in each pose for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Apart from this, of course, make sure you're following a healthy lifestyle, including sufficient sleep, healthy food habits, and managing your stress levels through yoga, deep breathing, and meditation. Also, menopause is just another stage in a woman's life and should be accepted wholeheartedly without dreading it, stressing, or looking down upon it. Remember, the body and the mind are always interconnected. So the way you think is always going to trickle down to the physical body. So look forward and accept wholeheartedly this beautiful new stage in your life. Remember, it's not the situations, but your attitude towards those situations that matter. Wishing you health and happiness. See you next time. Take care.